guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video so in today's video I will be doing no hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video so today's video was a requested video one of my lovely friends over here on YouTube actually DM'd me on Instagram to do this uh, tag video which is called as the hypocrite youtuber tag now I know a quite a lot of youtubers have done it and when i was kind of tagged into it it's been really long time since you my friend tagged me but i'm very sorry that it has taken me so long but today finally i'm sitting down to actually chit chat with you on this particular 10 or whatever number of questions on hypocrite youtuber tag so yeah let's get started there are a couple of questions <clears throat> i think sherazad shroff she's one of the ace youtubers we have in india she did it i don't know who started it do let me know if you are aware about it so that i can give them the credits in the description box and yeah so just just let me know so let's get started i have some questions right here and which of course i'll be reading out and answering them but before i begin guys i would just quickly tell you that probably this tag is not suitable for somebody who has just i think 50,000 subscribers maybe people who are much more kind of uh, uh, supposedly the bigger youtubers they might be able to answer these questions in a very uh, better way i feel like because i really do not have a lot of exposure when it comes to the youtube world as a community i, I I've not met a lot of people but still I'll try and answer the questions in the best of my capability and yeah so here I begin the first question that we have is have you ever blocked someone on Instagram so surprisingly the answer to this one is no I have not blocked anybody maybe because I never felt the need to I have never got thankfully by the grace of God any such comment that or anything or any DM that I felt the need to to block somebody I have not yes uh, yeah people do or maybe because I don't have such a huge following in Instagram I have I think 3,000 followers a little over 3,000 followers and that's not really much when you are kind of uh, a youtuber or an influencer so maybe that's why and yes maybe in future I might block never say never voila attitude but the thing is that as of now I have not blocked anybody next question do you envy any other youtuber if i say no i would be lying basically guys in a very healthy manner i would say i envy zoila how can somebody has such a perfect life it is unreal it is unbelievable i mean it is really unreal so i kind of envy her in a way which is positive and uh, i really want that sprinkle of happiness in everybody's life uh, but i am a bit inquisitive how can somebody be so happy and if they're just portraying it in front of the camera then they can be real i feel like i feel like it's just my own opinion next is have you ever answered back to comments in a rude way so I don't think there has been any such moment. That's why I'm telling you this video is going to be really boring because I don't think I've really commented anybody in a rude way. I think there have been certain uh, comments. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Recently somebody I think commented. Uh, no, but it was not a rude reply. I have never replied anybody in a rude way. I don't think if somebody is really angry at you or if somebody is sending hate to you, I don't think the best way to deal with it is to kind of reverse the emotion. I think it's better to be yourself and not go down to that level. Uh, that's what I really feel. I have never answered anybody in a rude way. I don't think. I would rather ignore such a comment than kind of waste my time in answering. That's what I feel. I've never done that. No. Next question is... Uh, which is your favorite video you've ever done so i think all my videos are my favorite in fact i don't actually film a video if i don't feel like filming if if i feel like filming a video and i feel for the products and i really feel the enthusiasm and everything just rushing in only then i film so in that way i think all my videos are really a favorite of mine but if you ask me one i think of my youtube journey video is really personal to me i'll not say it's one of my favorite ones but it is really personal and because it is very very personal because in the video i talk about my journey of the youtube channel so that is kind of a really special video not favorite but special 
in terms of being a favorite video i don't think there's just one video i like my videos i don't mind watching my videos that's one thing i would say because if i don't like to watch my videos i don't expect anybody else to watch my videos not that i have like millions and millions of views but yes i don't mind watching my videos i like to do that yeah next which video are you embarrassed about none i'm not embarrassed about any video of mine why would i be i whenever i film i mean i don't think any youtuber would be embarrassed about any video the reason is that when you film a video and then when you edit a video there's a long time span so in that time span of course if you've been just a little bit reckless with your words or anything that you're doing on camera you have a time to kind of think and in that time span you can uh, probably rectify whatever wrong or whatever embarrassing thing that you have done but as of now i don't think i have done anything embarrassing uh no there's no such video that i'm embarrassed about none none at all but yes there are certain videos in the beginning like my first not my first but my second video actually my second video about the lipstick i think the lipstick one or i think it's the maybelline baby lips one that is the first video that i ever filmed and i'm kind of embarrassed about it because i was so shy i cannot for the life of me explain to you guys how nervous i was as i was perspiring like anything so that was my second video my baby lips one and my perfume one no 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 oh god my baby lips video was the first video i ever shot with an intention of putting it out there in front of you guys but the perfume video was the second video that i shot which i actually uploaded the first so technically or maybe not the maybelline baby lips is the first video so i'm quite awkward in the video and i would never ever watch it and i would never ever ask you to watch it it was like very pathetic video but i just did it because i wanted to do it maybe yeah okay next question i talk so much my phone goes to sleep um have you ever had problems with any other youtuber no because i've not met anybody in fact uh, the only youtuber i think i've personally spoken to with is magali magali vas uh, who has a channel on youtube and she's a super 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 sweet and a very genuine youtuber in fact she is one of the first indian youtubers i started watching because her reviews and everything is very very real and she is actually uh somebody i can look up to when it comes to reviews she's that good uh, that's what i feel so uh, i really like her apart from that if you talk to me about i mean i don't know her that well personally but yes i just have spoken to her not really spoken but probably dm'd her a couple of times i really wanted to meet her when she was in delhi i think the last time but we couldn't for some reason but when you really talk about problems no not at all because i don't know anybody neither on professional or personal level uh, that is the kind of beauty or the sadness or the bad part of this job is that you often do not get the opportunity to uh, kind of meet your colleagues and uh, it is kind of saddening because the more you interact of course the more you grow uh, it doesn't happen that way on youtube so most of the times maybe half a year you stay away in your studio or in your home wherever you're shooting and you just do it in all your seclusion and you rarely meet people so that is the scenario with me as well i did not even attend the youtube fan fest so that way i could not really get the opportunity to meet a lot of them but i really hope that in future i meet so many of the youtubers that i really really admire and appreciate their work and i yeah i'm really hoping that i don't develop any problems with anybody i don't think because everybody has a different thing their channel is known for their different thing i mean you come to this channel for a specific thing and you probably watch some other youtuber for any other specific thing so yeah they we can't be the same so why to have any kind of negative feelings for anybody next question would be uh what would you change about your channel i would not change anything about this channel i would rather include yes yes there's one thing that i would probably include not really change i would love to start vlogging i think vlogging is very very unique thing but the thing is that i really don't do much i don't know if you would like to watch me just uh, you know moving here and there in a really tiny matchbox apartment of mine so that's why i really don't do that much of vlogging not blogging vlogging because i don't really go out that much most of the time i'm shooting filming no i'm filming editing uploading studying filming uploading editing 
like that the cycle goes on and uh, sometimes i'm cooking sometimes i'm ordering i don't think my life is that exciting and if i want to maybe i will try and film a vlog for you and if i think i'm comfortable i would love to do it in fact i would love to do daily vlogs i really like the concept of daily vlogging so yes i think that is something i would really want to come kind of incorporate in my videos so maybe in future i might do that next would be how uh, no 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 next would be have you ever been inspired or copied any other youtuber not really copied you can't really copy anybody because you're altogether a different person and you cannot really lie to the camera if you're somebody and you're posing as somebody uh, you as viewers can easily tell the difference and you guys know you are very smart you guys know that this person is faking it or uh, this person has a sense of attitude whatever is the situation or there is something missing or whatever so you cannot really copy somebody inspire yes i i really liked haul videos when i started watching youtube haul videos were the first that i always looked forward to watch so yes you may say that my entire concept of this channel is the haul and all of that has been inspired and picked up from a lot of youtube channels there's so many of them uh, including bethany mota including uh, so many of the youtubers i think i really like shreya chen's um, haul video recently she posted one and that's amazing i loved it so there's so many youtubers who do haul videos and i definitely definitely am inspired i love the entire thing about haul videos it just gives me so much energy and it just makes me love life so much just because i'm a shopaholic and i love haul videos so yes i'm in inspired from a lot of youtubers in that way uh, but i'm not copied anybody have you ever disliked another youtuber's video in this case i would say yes i have disliked because we as viewers uh, have the power to either like dislike or kind of flag any video if it is kind of violating any kind of any norm uh, which might not be good for the general public so i did use that power and i did not like one video where where in in that video i mean she's an indian youtuber i'm not going to name it but she kind of exaggerated the whole act of rape in a very in a very kind of uh, pathetic way i would say i did not really like it it was very very gross the way she was uh, explaining the entire act of rape and i think of for people in fact i think children even watch her so uh, kids of like 6, 15 16 17 18 so i think that is a very impressionable age and if you're explaining rape to them you can be a little bit subtle you can be a little bit kind of uh, you know toned down in your expression of explanation that's what i feel but in this case of uh, the uh, the explanation was really brutal i don't think that was very well needed and uh, it was very very gross so i disliked the video and in fact i think i even commented on the video uh, because i did not like it because if i at 25 years of age can feel totally grossed out by that explanation of rape imagine a person because even boys or men watch the videos you don't know who the viewer is so you are educating somebody but that education should be in a kind of uh, a controlled thing you have to be very careful about how you put your words especially if uh, thousands and thousands of people are watching you so that i did not really like so that's why i disliked the video and i also commented on the video so yes and there's just not this single occasion i've disliked there are a couple of videos which have kind of did not really work with me i did dislike it but many of those videos that i have disliked i think four or five of them have been kind of violating some or the other uh, you know humanitarian grounds that's what i feel and i would never put up with that next do you have a fake account to do things you don't do with your main account no no way i just have one account i don't even have a personal account so i have just one account which is sanake and i upload my videos through sanake and i watch all my favorite youtubers videos through sanake and i also kind of subscribe my favorite youtubers through this channel only i don't feel the need to have any other account why would i because i'm very vocal about it if i want to comment on anybody's channel i would never be anonymous about it i would always want to be myself and say what i want to because yeah that's how i am so i am not ashamed or i would never do things in anonymity 
beauty and I don't think that's even fair so that's why I said to you guys that this video is going to be really really boring because I really do not have any juicy meaty things to tell you guys because I'm a really small youtuber I do not have so many interaction or that much of interaction with any other youtuber or the YouTube world as a community or anything like that so yes guys I do not know if this video was very enjoyable but if you did enjoy it please do not forget to give this video a quick thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos from me make sure that you're subscribed to my channel I do a lot of haul videos and reviews and all of that you can hit that subscribe button that red button hit that bell button so that you get the notification and also make sure that you comments in the comment section below what you think about this particular video and also which youtuber you're gonna tag next for this hypocrite youtuber I think it's a really fun tag so make sure that you tag your favorite youtubers uh, to do this particular tag yes so thank you so much for watching this video guys I'll see you in my next one very soon till then take care of yourself and I love you very much bye guys Mwah.